Welcome back, everybody. Once again, it's time for a big breakfast, but I'm gonna see if it's possible to scale it down and make it for like one or two people. Potatoes, that's always one of the big questions when it comes to my viewers. They're always asking me, hey Todd, what's the best way to do potatoes or why don't my potatoes work out right? These are russet potatoes. I've washed them and I left the skin on. We're gonna use the mandolin slicer. Mandolin slicers are some of the most dangerous kitchen tools in the world. You have to be careful. So I suggest that if you have them, use some cut resistant gloves. 22 inch Blackstone Pro Series griddle, medium heat, olive oil. I caught myself, I was putting down way too many hash browns for one or two people, so we're gonna save a little bit. A little more olive oil and some Wildman Chef seasonings. A shout out to Scott Price, my subscriber who gave me this a couple years ago. Super thin, so these are gonna cook quick. These hash browns are cooking up really quickly, so from the get-go, I'm gonna turn that right burner down to low. Colorado Mountain Man breakfast sausage, one of my favorites. You can go back into the archives here on Let's Give It A Try or on my personal channel to see me making my wild game sausage. You see me using the sausage a lot of times in my videos and it's semi-frozen, you can kinda slice it into discs, but today it's completely thawed, so we're just gonna go ahead and fashion out some patties here but you know what i said this is going to be a big breakfast even though i'm going to make it for just you know one or two people so i'm going to make maybe a little bit larger than uh, normal patties antelope sausage patties down on the griddle top and i don't need to season these like i said they are mountain man seasonings i used one of the high mountain kits and the seasoning is inside the sausage a lot of questions about hash browns people wondering Oh my goodness, do I have to soak them in one? No, as you can see, very simple. And look how gorgeous those look. Kodiak cakes, you've seen me use these for years. Good stuff. We're just gonna go with one serving. Loosely measured, one cup with three quarters cup water. And you've seen me do this for years. First I go down with cinnamon. And I really love almond extract. As is typical with any type of over-the-counter pancake mix, that looks a little thick. It's usually thick or thin. Grab your Blackstone squirt bottle and just add a little bit of water. Should be able to get the consistency that you want. Hash browns looking absolutely perfect. They're over here in a holding pattern. Let's go in and flip my sausage patties. Oh, yes. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, rustic oven bread. It is my favorite homestyle bread off the shelf. I mean, look at these. I'll pre-butter these a little bit. Blackstone egg rings, a little bit of oil, or my preference is actually the Blackstone nonstick cooking spray. Crack my eggs. I'm not the world's best egg cracker, so we'll see how this goes. Nate taught me a trick years ago that if your yolk slides to one side, you can actually correct it by moving it over. So let's, uh, let's give that a try. Thank you, Chef Nate. And you can just season your eggs up any way you want to. I'll throw my toast down now. We can just pull it off early if we need to. Take our egg rings and move them around, and I think they're ready to be removed. I'm gonna try to scoop my eggs over here out of the way so we can deal with pancakes. Grab a little bit of my butter. In with my cinnamon almond pancake batter. We'll try to do two decent sized pancakes. And down with the second one. Let's go in and check the toast. It's looking pretty darn good. Let's give that a flip. I like to take my griddle scraper and cut my toast like this, right on the griddle. Then it's ready to go for later. Go underneath our pancakes and check them out. Hopefully you can see that. We're getting 
really good color and they're setting up nicely so we'll go in for a flip. You might need to use two spatulas if you have a big one like that. Grab my old school Blackstone cast iron serving platter. Hash browns look incredible. I'll slice up some bananas down with a little bit of banana, some blueberries as well. And for me, I have to have texture. I have to have some crunch. So today we're going in with pecans. Check this out, a brand new syrup from Emlinton, Pennsylvania. Grade A, very dark color. You have to have that pure maple syrup. Take a look at that. I have to get a good thumbnail photo, so let me remove this cutting board. That looks absolutely delicious. Now, you can tease me if you want in the comments down below. Who on earth can eat that by themselves? I'll be honest, I can't do it. Back in the day, I could. Now, I do like a big hearty breakfast once in a while, but I exercise, I try to have smoothies for breakfast. Like I said, one person that's super hungry or for two people that are pretty darn hungry as well. Here we go, we're starting with that Colorado antelope sausage. Oh, man. Heinz ketchup for my hash browns. Oh, I see it posted all the time in the griddle users groups. Do we have to soak them in water? Well, yeah, if you don't want them to get brown like an hour later, but do it, no, you don't have, you don't have to par cook them. You just need some good oil, you need some butter, and this is what you end up with. Just absolutely gorgeous hash browns. Friends, I sure do appreciate you watching. By the way, it's mid-March right now, so a very cold day. I'm not sure when this video will air, so if you happen to see this in like April or May, just know that I live in Colorado and we're having a, a brisk March day. Hey, make sure you visit us at blackstoneproducts.com because that's your source for everything Blackstone. You wanna find out about our new pizza oven? Go to blackstoneproducts.com. Hey, and also, if you want cool Blackstone t-shirts, hoodies, sweatshirts go to griddlenation.com this is let's give it a try and we have a brand new episode every darn week so until next time this is todd and i'm saying praise the lord and pass the obnoxiously large big country home style breakfast oh it's good